when it comes to logarithmic modeling, it's going to be tricky because there's millions of different things in the real world that can be modeled using logarithmic function, which means that you can be asked a million different kinds of questions that can be modeled using logarithmic function. For example, sound is measured using something called decibels, which is a logarithmic scale. Earthquakes are measured using the Richter scale, which is a logarithmic scale. The strengths of acids and bases are measured using something called the pH scale, which is a logarithmic scale. Now, I'm showing you these three examples, but there are hundreds of others out there. On an, any external exam, you might get asked anything. But each time you do, you'll get some information. This is the information with a nice little equation here. This is the information here with a nice little equation here. And this is the information here with a nice little equation here. And then it's your job to interpret that information and then use that formula. There's a high likelihood that you'll be asked a question that you've just never seen before but you'll have enough information to be able to interpret it and then solve it. Here are three example questions. So if you take all of this information, the information on what the scale is, and then the question, you have a question that might appear on an exam. If you take all of this information, the information on what the scale is, and the question, then you have a question that might appear on an exam. And if you take all of this information and then the uh, question here, you have all the information that might appear on an exam. And now it's just your job to interpret the question, sub the correct values into your equation, and then solve, find, whatever it is that they're asking you to solve or find. In this first question, there's two things you're being asked to find. The power in watts for both uh, a power mower and a conversation in a restaurant. So you're being told the de decibels for both, so you're just summing decibels into that equation and then solving for P. So there's my full working for the power mower. I've just subbed in 96. And then I've done some algebraic manipulation and I get 1 over 10 to the 6.4. That's an incredibly small number, but it's watts per centimetre squared, so you would expect that. All right, um, the Richter scale, same deal. You read the information, you look at your formula, and then you figure out what you're summing in. So I've subbed some values in there, A is 10, T is 1, 6.8, and I've solved it, and I've got a 7.8 on the Richter scale. Now again, I don't know anything about Richter scales really, I have a formula and I have a question with all the information I need to be able to solve it. The same goes for this uh, pH scale thing. Is it a little bit helpful if you do chemistry and you have some knowledge of what the pH scale is? Sure, but even if you don't, all the information you need to be able to solve that question is just sitting right there. This question took a little more thinking because we're subbing in the pHs. We know that the pH interval is between 7.37, so I subbed it into one equation there. I just used the letter A to represent this weird H3O plus thing. And 7.44, I subbed that in as well. And I used B to represent H3O plus, because I'm trying to find two H3O pluses, whatever they are. Uh, I get two answers, 10 to the negative 7.44 and 10 to the negative 7.37, which you can write as 3.63 times 10 to the negative 8 and 4.27 times 10 to the negative 8. Your calculator will spit out those. Uh, numbers for you in scientific notation if you want it. Um, Alright, I have really kept it pretty short here because what I want you to really understand is that you need to take these questions, read what you're looking at, and then interpret it. They will change. There will be more difficult ones where you need to sum some values in and maybe do some simultaneous equations. But in the end, it's really about reading the question, interpreting it, and then using the formula appropriately. Good luck.